Okay guys, so, um, this is Paul Wieland and in this video by the Washington Post it actually explains pretty good who he is and what happened, you know what I mean? Check it out. Paul Wieland is a 48 year old man from Michigan. He works doing uh, security for an auto parts manufacturer. Uh, he's a former Marine and a former police officer. Just before New Year's he was arrested in Russia on charges of espionage. So the facility where he's being held is a pretty notorious jail, and at some point as he's awaiting trial, which may be for several months, there's every presumption that he will be moved into the general population with other Russians. In the Marines, he was deployed twice to Iraq, largely in administrative capacities. He never saw combat, and in 2008, he was given what's called a bad conduct discharge, which is different than a dishonorable discharge. He was uh, convicted of attempts to steal thousands of dollars in funds, and he was also writing bad checks. Anytime somebody is writing checks for money they don't have, it could be a pretty clear indication that they're in debt. That's important because when intelligence agencies are looking for people to recruit, they often will turn to people who have money problems, who need some money quickly. We don't know if that's what happened in this case, but what we do know is that he appears not to have been working for any American government. Right now we know of four countries where he claims citizenship, the United States, Canada, Ireland, and uh, the United Kingdom. He's reached out for what's called consular access, essentially talking to diplomatic officials in all of those countries. It's not unusual for somebody to have more than one passport, but unusual to have four. So obviously, given the nature of the allegations against him, this has also raised questions. But there's nothing that's leaping out that says that Paul Whelan would have been a natural person that a foreign government would want to recruit. His family has said that he was in Moscow to attend a friend's wedding. They have insisted he's not engaged in espionage. They think that's the absolute last thing they could imagine. And his employer, Paul Whelan's employer, has said he was not in Russia conducting any business for his company either. So that's about it. That's that. That's Mark Whelan. I want to give special thanks to the Washington Post, um, Shane Harris, William Neff, uh, Sarah Parnas, and the Reuters, Reuters uh, team. Because that was a pretty good one, honestly. That's, that's Mark Whelan. Mm. Catch you guys later.